can so today we will be showing you one video that video will be talking about like how we can make a request for uh, firefighter id or the pam id in sap btp and iag and how we can make a request for that and once the user the pam user will get the access of the pam id in order to perform some something in the emergency access so the log will be gets collected and then log will be reviewed by the reviewer so that particular process we are going to see how we can do in iag okay so let's see that and we are from we are presenting this video from al info which is a pune institute which is providing you this training for the safety security domain so let's see that so right now like we have connected our one s4 hana system with iag system and now uh, we already created a pam id and then if suppose pam user so that is uh, the pam user is uh, in our scenario that we are using is test 0001 so right now if you see if he is running he is not able to have any pam id and then we are now requesting a pam user pam id for this user using iag so let's see that so in order to have a pam id request the user will go here and select or that he can ask to the administrator to raise a request on behalf of him so if we are raising on behalf of him then we have to come here and access request for others we can click here create access request for others so if you if you select this fury application in iag so it will open this option means we are requesting the access for which user so for us the test 001 is the pam user which which is a dialog user who need the access of the pam id in case of emergency so suppose we selected the user and what access we need so here we will be requesting the pam id so the pam id is like pam 03 so this is our pam id so so we select this pam id and requesting this pam id so we can click on create a request then it is opening this screen and in this screen we have the request for reason so we can say the access request for this s4 or we can create a request for the privilege access manager for example the priority of this request is and then who could be the manager for this access request so if we say like uh, maybe this person is the approver or any other person we can take as a approver okay so like who can be the approver for this pam id so maybe we can take this person and any email id we can take and then here this pam id we need for how many days so here we can maximum give for 3 days because we have made the setting for 3 days so maximum 3 days we can give so if you give here some days like 22 or 26 for example it will allow not allow you to raise the request from more than this date so if you keep your 23 maybe okay so then here you have the option if you have this any attachment for as a approval or any process then you can keep here the attachment as well and then you submit the request say yes so once you say the submit the request one the access request has been raised It is saving so you can say the one access request has been saved or submitted and you can uh, check the status of the application once you submit it then one access request has been created okay and then you can see the status of the access request as well as well so it will be coming here so that you can see the access request status will be shown to you like 41 and it's pending so it is pending for the approver to approve so out of this approver anyone can approve that so what we do we log in to the approver for this id and then we go to the approver so maybe we can go for incognito mode for that and log into the user so this is like a approver and then for this approver we 
we log in as an approval. So once we log in to the system, then we'll be getting a request here. So we have to go to privilege access management, and then we have to go to privilege access inbox. And then you can say this is the request which is pending, request number 41. And once we get this request, then we will be having an option to approve or reject the request. So if a manager feel like a privilege access manager feel that this request is valid and he has to approve this request, he can select here and click on approve. And then once the access request has been approved, you can see here. So once it is approved, it will move out from the inbox of the approver. OK, like here. And then this will be done from approval side. So then, like here also, if you want to see the status of the request, then you have the option here. So if you go to the administration and then and the report, and then you can see access request audit log, for example. So here you can see the request status here. What is the status of this 41 number? Whether the access has been provided to the user, the PAM ID has been assigned to the PAM user. So you can see here, this is shown you as a completed. So for this PAM request, you don't have to run the provisioning job really. So you can see here, the 41 number is there. there. And then you can see some notification thing and access request is approved by this person. And PAM assignment to this test is in S4 is successful. So you can see this message. That means it has been given the access to the PAM user, which is nothing but for our case is test 001, okay? So now if you log in to the user here and then run this uh, transaction, which is like nothing but this transaction, the SIAG PAM launchpad, okay? So if you run this transaction here, you can see the logon screen for accessing the PAM user is visible to you and then you can click on the logon and then you select the specific reason for that give some transaction like which you want to use. I'm just using, for example, let's use 01 as a simple example. And then you can see you are able to log in to the same system with the PAM 03, which having some extra access. For example, let's use 01. So we go here and we are creating some ID, some system ID, for example, you need to be created in the production system as in case of emergency. So. So here, like we just create a system ID and then some creating a password, just an example. Okay, and then whatever the specific role has been required to be assigned. So that role also you can able to assign to the user. And then once your job is done, like something like this or something, I'm just giving some random access, okay? And you save it. The job is done, then you have to exit the session. So, and then you exit from the spam ID also. Then you come to your original ID. And then here you can say yeah, this session has been locked by the user. And then you can unlock the session. Okay. So, so, so if you unlock the session, then, then the session will be unlocked from me here. Some, some authority issue, something with this user. Okay, and then once your job is done, then you can exit from here and then your job is done. And after that, the log will be gets collected here and then this log will be uh, used for the purpose of the review. And to get the log, what you have to do, you have to come to your IAG system and in IAG system, then in the administration, you have the option for uh, sending, a, uh, sending a log to your a PAM reviewer, and for that you have to go to the job scheduler. And in the job scheduler, you have the job for that.
Well, let's see. So th in this, if you open this, then you have this sub so first job, you have to run this privilege access log sync. So that log initially is being collected in your S4 system or in target system. Then you have to bring this log to your IEG system. That is first thing that you have to do. So let's do that. So I'm just uh, scheduling this job. And once you schedule the job, the job will be running. And then you have to see that whether the job has been run successfully. Means your log is collected from your satellite system to your IEG system. In our example, like from S4 to IEG. And you can come here and see that the job log is running. So you just refresh it. And then this is finished. And then you can see the log here. And you can open it. So if the job log is finished, then you can see the log how it will be. So here you can see number of log rate one, number of stress and sync is three. So likewise, you can see the there is no error of this. And then we have to send this log to the PAM reviewer. And for that, you have to run the job, which is nothing but your privilege access. Uh, review request so it will be sending a request to the reviewer to review that request uh, log re log check so we just sending the schedule it And then you can see the job history. And in the job history, you can find the job has been completed. So you can run it and see the log whether it will be successful. So it has been successful. So once it is successful and tailored, then the job will be uh, collected to the a reviewer so if you go to the reviewer for example and then if you go to the privilege access management and go for the privilege access monitoring reviewer inbox so here you can receive one request here to view the log so for example here you can see uh, the request has been created right so this is a request number and then uh, like here is the user pan 003 for this and review is just for today's date, you can see. And if you open here, so in, this is a log uh, a re log log request which is uh, collected by your PAM reviewer. And then here you can see the log. So in this log, what you can see that this PAM03 user is running SU01 transaction, right? And after running SU01 transaction, he, what he has made changes so that you can see here. So he run, run and make the changes here and and then like he changed the address number he created some user okay so you can see from here you can see what what changes he have done so he set the password he changed the address he changed the data he assigned this role for example right so you can see the details here so so that is the core idea here what he have done that All right, so if that is the collected by the requester, then he had the option to, if you feel the the log and the work what he have done by the PAM user ID has been correct, so he have option to end the log, that comment, and then he has to submit the request. So once he submit the request, this request will be again removed from his inbox for review, and and then if you have the like number of stages, then it has to approve by the number of people actually. So if you have three stage, then it has to go for three level of approval. If you send the send the request for two level of approval, it has to go for two level of approval. So right now it is two level of approval and then it is we made ourselves as a role owner and also as manager. So that's what it's going for two level of reviewer. Okay. And then once it is moved, then your process ends for PAM ID. Okay, so hope you understand this. And in case of any queries there, you are welcome to reach out to me on 
on this phone number and this email id also so we are uh, just an introduction like we are the al info and we have the office at pune hinjwadi uh, opposite to wipro circle and and we are providing the training of all the modules related to the security like IEG, GIC, access control, process control, risk management, audit management, S4 HANA Fury, HANA DV security, SAP HR security, BW security, SAP security. And also we are providing the, the consulting work also in SAP security side. We have the experience in providing corporate training and, and we have exhausted training experience also. We are trained more than 1,000 people in, in the area of SAP security. Okay, so if you have any requirement, you can reach out to us for specific security trainings. And then here is the, our office that we'll be providing the access to the. And if you are welcome to reach out to us and any requirement, reach out to us on these numbers. And this is our email IDs and this is our website. Okay, so take care, everyone. That's all for from me. And enjoy the rest of the day. Take care. Bye bye.